is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. So... These are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, uh, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> Did... did you just sneer at me? Oh, you... Come on now! No fighting, you two! Well, look who finally made it. Nice work, you two. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep. They're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class! <laughs> Now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. What you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam! Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? 
Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is this just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusus Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses! The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. <sighs> do, do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me! I'll never bend my knee to the likes of- Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier? What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? No cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. Gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? <sighs> <sighs> I thought my heart was going to jump out of my chest. Hey, Rain, are you? Okay. Oh, uh, what happened? Huh? <laughs> um, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Ah! <laughs> Ooh. 
Wow! It's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. Huh? Is this? It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. Seems to be some sort of portable orbment. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle orbment. Is that Miss Valestein? So, these devices have built-in communications functionality, then? Well, wait! Don't tell me these things are... New model battle orbments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth generation battle orbments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle orbments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will! Just set a quartz into one of its slots, and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing a quartz. Find yours, and try setting the quartz into your Arcus. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Uh, what is this woman thinking? <sighs> Let's see. Mine is... that one. Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? called a Master Quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use arts. Go on, give it a try. that you've successfully synchronized with your Arcus. Congratulations! Now you can use arts as much as you want. These Arcus units have plenty more nifty features, but I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once, so we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around, though, so don't let your guard down, even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Uh, um... I don't think she's joking. <laughs> In 
just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What? What the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! But if that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class that's still dragging me down! What should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> Not such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. <laughs> I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of... awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a pole axe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it... a staff? Wait, no. It's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbital staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it, so when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. <sighs> wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. 
You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. 